Hello and welcome to another useful video. Today's video will cover the installation of Mini H1 by Xenon projectors into halogen headlights. Step 1 of the process requires removing your headlights. Every vehicle will have a different procedure for the removal of the headlights. On this 2002 Tacoma that we're working with, we have to remove the corner lights, the grill, and then finally we can go ahead and remove the headlights. I've kind of shown you this process, it might be different for your vehicle. However, you should be able to search online or on Google for a DIY on how to remove your headlights. If you're not interested in watching this procedure, please jump ahead to 1 minute and 25 seconds. That's where step 2 will start. So once the corner lights are removed, you go ahead and put in that tab and push the connector out of the space there. And then you'll have to press in these little plastic tabs on the grill um, on all those areas shown in the video. Once all of those tabs are pressed in, you can slightly give a little bit of pressure and remove it. Then you have to remove the bottom trim pieces and then the grill will come out. Then each headlight will have two screws on one side and a plastic rivet that you kind of have to pop out by pressing a screwdriver in on both sides of it. It's pretty simple and the video should show you the procedure. And then once you have your headlights out, all you do is remove the connector on the back and the headlights come out. And moving on to step two, that's polishing the headlights. Now this is optional based on the condition of your headlights. I went ahead and did this because I didn't think the headlights were as clear as they could be. The procedure that I found that works the best is using 600 grit, 1000 grit, 1200 grit, 2000 grit, and finally 3000 grit wet sand followed by Meguiar's plastic polish on the actual headlight lens with an electric drill with that buffer pad on there. I found that the results last one to two years and it gives it a really nice almost factory new shine and it really clears up any oxidation and hazing that the headlights had. And again that is optional, I just went ahead and did it and I was really happy with the results that I got from that process. And now we're getting to the beginning stages of prepping the headlight for the projector retrofit. And the first thing you have to do is remove the lenses and you want to look around your headlights to make sure that they have any of these plastic or metal tabs. You'll want to remove them. Then you'll want to bake the headlights at 290 degrees for around 7 to 10 minutes. And then you'll want to find a nice area where you can give a little bit of leverage and once you do that, the lens will start to come apart. If yours is being really stubborn, you can bake it longer, but I wouldn't really go higher than 290 degrees. After the lens is removed, you'll want to remove the shroud for the halogen bulb and the halogen bulb holder from the headlight assembly. Generally, these are held in with screws. If yours are glued in, you can also use a Dremel and kind of cut them off. You'll now need to gather the parts required to install the projectors into your headlights. These are the projectors that I bought. They're mini by Xenon H1 size projectors. They seem to be very high quality. They also have a flap that gets activated via that hot and ground connection there. Uh, one thing to note is that that motor right there or the switch should always be facing down when you slide the actual projector into the headlight. They seem to be very high quality and other people have told me that the cutoff for those are pretty nice as well. I also went ahead and got a standard 4300 Kelvin H1 HID kit as well for the headlights. And now it's time to install the projector into the headlights. So what we're going to do is remove the bulb holder from the back of the projector. It's held in with three mini Phillips head screws. And then once we remove the screws and the locking nut on the back of the projector, we're going to go ahead and drill a small hole into our headlights. That hole is going to be used to accommodate the two wires for the Bi-Xenon High. And I made it a little bit smaller because I didn't want a huge hole with the possibility of water getting in there. So I just cut my connections and slid them through that way. Again, you want to make sure that the bi-xenon motor is on the bottom. That silicone anti-dampening uh, disc is on there. And then you'll want to go ahead and put the H4 ring on there. And finally, tighten the lock nut. 
And once that lock nut is pretty tight, you can see how the orientation of the projector is within the headlight. If it's nice and tight and looks good to you, then you can go ahead and tighten up that projector nut. And once that nut is tight, you'll want to go ahead and reinstall the bulb holder onto the back of the projector using those three small Phillips head screws. Once that is done, just make sure that everything is nice and tight. You don't want any vibrations or anything loose or falling apart when you're driving. Once that's complete, you can go ahead and install your bulb or your HID kit. This is pretty optional. It depends on how much room you'll have behind the headlight. Once the actual headlights are complete and finished, I decided to go ahead and put my bulbs in there and wire up everything right now, just because I didn't know if I would have enough room once they're installed. Once everything looks great to you, you'll want to go ahead and get the shroud and use a little bit of either silicone, epoxy, or very hardening glue onto the projector shroud that goes around the projector to make sure that it doesn't wiggle, move around, or fall off. I went ahead and did that and I let that sit for a couple of hours. It got on there and held on there very tightly. Then I used windshield sealant gasket maker around the perimeter of the headlight to make sure that I don't have any leaks once I put everything back together. After I put a decent amount on there, I went ahead and put the lens back onto the headlight. Then I got up some pliers and put a little bit of pressure on all the seals and joints to make sure that everything is nice and tight. A lot of people use clamps, but with this method I found that it works great because I do actually bake the headlights again. You want to bake the headlights again at 290 degrees for around 8 to 10 minutes. I found that after I let them cool, the seal was exceptionally tight. You'll also want to put the metal tabs back onto the headlights to make sure that the lenses stay on nice and tight and tighten everything up. And as you can see, the finished product looks really, really nice. I would say that it has a very factory look. The nighttime vision is greatly, greatly improved. Everybody's wiring is going to be different, so I'm not going to really go over that unless someone asks me. But just know that there's a lot of different connections and kits out there that you can buy to like take your halogen to a bi-xenon and so forth. But I would strongly recommend this. It was a fun project and you shouldn't be scared to do it. And here are some before and after pictures. This is the before picture with the halogen headlights. And then this is the after with the projectors in there. I think it looks a lot nicer, gives the vehicle an updated look. And at night you get a lot of light shown directly onto the street. And it has a really nice cutoff and I used a 4300K H1 HID kit in my H1 projectors. Thanks for watching, hit that like and subscribe button, and have a wonderful day.